let us discuss thermal conductivity okay the rate of flow of heat h is represented as flow heat per unit time okay and uh, let us consider a solid bar having a radius a and a length l okay okay length l and the temperature at this point is temperature at this point is t plus delta d and the temperature at this point is this end is t okay and there is a temperature difference and uh, the heat h the flow of heat rate of flow of heat h is proportional to area of cross section if area of uh, cross section of this bar increases then the flow of heat also will get increased okay and this is uh, proportional to directly proportional to the temperature difference for example uh, uh, imagine uh, this is uh, at this end the temperature is 100 degrees celsius and at this end the temperature is 0 degrees celsius okay and uh, let's consider another case having a temperature 50 degrees celsius at this end and 0 degrees celsius at this end okay so the more uh, the rate of flow of heat is more at this case for 100 degrees celsius and uh, 0 degrees celsius uh, since the temperature difference is more okay then the second case okay so uh, the heat transfer of energy transfer of heat uh, the rate of heat is directly proportional to the temperature difference temperature difference and uh, here we are taking a small length and the temperature difference is dt temperature difference is dt so we know uh, the temperature uh, the temperature difference the temperature is more here than this point so the temperature difference is taken as uh, look at if this is the point a and this is the point b so the temperature difference is tb tb minus ta tb minus ta the temperature at this point minus the temperature at this point so this is a negative quantity since the temperature is more at this point so we are considering as negative dt negative dt okay and the heat transfer is inversely proportional to the distance inversely proportional to the distance if this length is more if this length is more then the transfer of heat the rate of transfer of heat is less so we can take h is directly proportional to a and dt and inversely proportional to the dx okay and uh, uh, this h is equal to minus k into a into dt by dx this is the proportionality this is the proportionality constant and uh, uh, that proportionality constant is known as thermal conductivity okay thermal conductivity conductivity of a material thermal conductivity of a material and the heat per unit area heat per unit area is known as the flux heat flux ju okay and that is equal to minus k into dt over dx minus k into dt over dx and uh, let me put this as equation one okay where j is the flux of thermal energy j is the flux of thermal thermal energy okay or energy transmitted or energy transmitted energy transmitted per unit area per unit area in unit unit time in unit time okay and from kinetic theory of gases and uh, in the comparison of kinetic theory of gases uh, we can we can solve the value value of the thermal conductivity as k is equal to 1 by 3 cvl okay where c is the heat capacity heat capacity of this material heat capacity of this material and v is the velocity of the particle v is the velocity of the particle particle and l is the length of the material okay length of the material let us consider a solid bar here. A solid bar here. The proof I provide you. Uh, K is equal to 1 by 3 CVL. K is equal to 1 by 3 CVL. K is equal to 1 by 3. 1 by 3 CVL. Okay. The proof is this one. Proof. Let us consider a solid bar. Having a, an area of cross section A. Having an area of cross section A. And a length. And a length L and uh, we are taking this in x direction okay this solid bar is taken in x direction and the length is taken as lx okay lx and this is the area of cross section 
at this point the temperature is t plus delta t the temperature is more more at this end and the temperature here is t okay and i'm considering a small length dx small length dx and the temperature difference is dt okay temperature difference is dt uh, so i can write i can write the temperature difference between these two ends delta t as delta t as the temperature difference in the small length is dt over dx dt over dx okay so the temperature is more at this point uh, than this point so we need to take this temperature difference is minus dt by dx okay into into this is the temperature difference in a small length and the total length is lx so, so the total temperature difference the temperature difference between this point and this point this two ends is minus dt by dx into lx okay and that is equal to minus dt by dx into actually we are considering we are comparing with uh, kinetic theory of gases and we are considering the energy transfer by some particles and that that particle will not move straight okay that particle will hit another particle collide with another particle and that will collide with another particle and finally that will reach here okay so we are considering the particles like that and uh, the velocity the velocity v is taken the velocity of the particle is v uh, uh, v x in x direction v x okay and tau is the average time between the two collisions okay so this is minus dt by dx and vx velocity into velocity into time is the time is in the dimension of distance okay and uh, uh, the tau is the, the tau is the average time between collisions average time between between collisions collisions and vx is the uh, velocity velocity of particle in x direction velocity of particle particle in x direction velocity of particle in x direction okay and uh, let us consider this particle let us consider an area of cross section here an area of cross section here area of cross section here and the number of particle number of particle in a unit time passing through this area of cross section passing through this area of cross section is n with a velocity vx with a velocity vx and that particles will transfer energy delta q okay and uh, this is the flux this is the flux in a unit time in a unit time the number of particles n with a velocity in x direction vx uh, having the energy delta q delta q is passing through this area so that is flux okay and this can be written as n into vx into delta q can be written as c into c into delta t okay this is a specific heat capacity so c is equal to we know this is a delta q over delta t delta q over delta t so delta q can be written as the specific heat capacity c into delta t okay so this is n vx into c delta t uh, so this is equation 2 this is equation 2 and uh, this is equation 4 this is equation 3 equation 3 so we can substitute the value of equation 3 in equation 2 uh, equation 2 sorry we can substitute the value of equation 2 in equation 3 so we will get the flux as energy flux as ju is equal to n into vx into n into vx into c into delta t okay and vx c into delta t and that is equal to n into vx into c into delta t is delta t is minus dt over dx minus dt over dx into vx vx into tau okay vx into tau so we will get this is equal to the flux is equal to flux j u is equal to uh, n into vx into n into n into vx into vx is vx square so minus n vx square c into dt over dx okay c into dt over dx and uh, this equation equation 4 okay so uh, the velocity of different particles are different so we need to take the average velocity here okay average velocity So the average velocity is minus n average velocity vx square into c into dt over dx okay and the average velocity <coughs> average velocity is vx 
and the average velocity uh, the average velocity v is equal v square is equal to v x square plus v average of v y square uh, plus average of v z square v z square okay so we are considering uh, the average velocity are equal in all directions that means we can take this as v x square v x square plus uh, v x square plus v x square v x square this is equal to 3 average v x square okay 3 v x square and v x square can be taken as v x square can be taken as 1 by 3 into v square 1 by 3 into v square okay so we can substitute that value in this equation in this relation uh, that is j u is equal to this equation 5 j u is equal to minus n into v for v x square 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into v square 1 by 3 into v square c into dt over dx c into dt over dx okay okay and there is a one more term tau tau was there uh, tau was there okay so j is equal to minus n into 1 by 3 v square c into dt by dx into tau okay and uh, so here this much is uh, this much is taken from the kinetic theory of gases and here here for this solid bar the transfer of energy we are assuming that it's by phonons okay phonons transfer of energy by phonons so for phonons velocity is taken as constant so uh, we can take ju is equal to minus n into 1 by 3 v square minus n into 1 by 3 v square c tau into dt by dx dt by dx okay and this equal to this equal to minus n into c number of particles into c is taken as capital c 1 by 3 into uh, capital c and uh, v into tau velocity into time is taken as length l velocity into time taken as length l so c into uh, c into v into l velocity into time from the square one velocity is taken velocity into time is length and uh, v is the velocity remaining uh, remaining term uh, remaining velocity term and c v l into dt over dx dt over dx okay this is the flux this is the flux j u okay and this equation this equation uh, equation 5 okay so we can compare we can compare uh, so this is equation 6 okay this is equation 6 we can compare this equation 6 with equation 1 so we will get k is equal to 1 by 1 by 3 c v l 1 by 3 c v l okay the equation 1 was j u is equal to minus k into dt by dx minus k into dt by dx so k we will get as k is equal to 1 by 3 c v l is the heat capacity velocity of phonon and this is the length of the road okay